So this is a quick tutorial how to uh, calibrate a visible spectrometer, uh, USB connected to a computer that runs on the on the software. These are these are pretty good uh, uh, spectrometers. They have a fairly decent resolution. I use these uh, fluorescent light bulbs to get my uh, my spectrum. All the data from a each and every one of these peaks can be found online. I mean that's the easiest way to get a stable uh, spectrum. There's no need to reinvent the wheel, right? So anyway, uh, once we have a stable spectrum like like this here. Uh, we can point and click at uh, each peak and, and write down its value. And then if we open um, uh, Excel, we can put in the values in the, in the small table here. So what we're doing is we, we write down the value of the pixels given by the computer on the uh, pixel column and we match it with the wavelength of the corresponding peak on, the, on our library right here. And then we highlight the table click on the insert on the uh, upper tab and select scatter or line, whatever you choose. So we can get a graph and uh, right click on the graph. On the top tab, we can click layout and then go over to trending and uh, select uh, more trending option. This window show up. This is a polynomial type of curve and we want the third degree and then uh, select display equation on chart down here close and the equation show up right here now this is the uh, numbers you want to insert into the uh, software so up here we have this uh, this little icon with tools in it click on that and uh, the c3 c2 c1 c0 little window appears insert the number from the equation in that x cube is a c3 x squared c2 and so on and you should have a uh, calibrated uh, spectrum. This is just a quick and uh, dirty calibration. It's, and it's mostly for myself because I'm too stupid to remember what I did last time. Anyway, I just, uh, you notice that the spectrum I obtained is uh, vastly enlarged compared to the one from the library. Uh, that's because my, um, my grading uh, inside the spectrometer is, um, is a thousand lines per uh, millimeters. So I'm, I'm looking, f I'm willing to lose a bit of res resolution to get a wider spectrum. And that's why I'm a, uh, I'm going to try to change this grading for another one. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll, uh, I won't be posting much in the next two weeks as I'm going on vacation for a while. But I'm working on uh, some other uh, projects. Stay tuned for more science stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.